Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniature. Today we are going to be looking at the new Sword Hunter, which is kind of funny because she was one of the very, very first Kingdom Death models I ever built and painted and surprisingly didn't manage to destroy in the process. So, uh, it's kind of cool to see her come back full circle in plastic and she looks quite cool, as she did to begin with, and I am looking forward to building this. Now, first thing is we got to talk about the size of the box because... This is new, um, just grabbing the Ringtail Vixen box, which was the size of all the other white and brown boxes, you can see here. Uh, it's definitely a lot longer, and the reason for that, I'm guessing, is, uh, I'm probably right, because I know my stuff, yeah. She has her own full, entire sprue. I do appreciate it being bagged up, rather than just floating around wild in box. Let's get all this other stuff out of the way so we can take a better look. So, a lot more parts than I remember on the resin one. It's been a while since I built the resin one, and I could have sworn I had to glue all of those knives on, but maybe that's just my imagination playing tricks on me. So we've got most of the straps all attached here. Sword still needs to be built. Lots of swords. I mean, even more swords than there were originally, so that's kind of cool. We do have a custom base, which is a godsend, because if you built the original, she is barely standing on one foot. So we actually have some spots to attach her this time around, so that is a big plus. Also, I think I ended up kind of gluing one of the sword tips that she's actually you know, leaning against originally. She was leaning against, or maybe I just made her lean against, so she could actually have at least one more contact point between besides the tiny little one. So, lots of little parts here, but it's Kingdom Death model, so that's not to be so surprising. What else do we have inside of the goodie bag? So this seems to be a new thing, or at least with these post Gen Con, Gen Con models, is having everything all bagged up ahead of time. So we have our usual postcard, and I do have my original postcard. I wish they had done it. I've, don't see any discernible difference. I'll have to bust it out, especially once she's built, because I'm absolutely going to have to go grab my old painted one. We do have, what is this? Do not add this event. So this is some kind of a settlement event. Okay, kind of cool. Add that in. And then we have a new hunt event. And we have the Excalibur. You know what? Where's my Chrysagerin? I think if we're going to get all these fancy rare gear swords, I need a Kingdom Death Chrysagerin. Boots, get on that. We need a Chrysagerin. I know you want to. I know you're a fan of Symphony of the Night. Give us the greatest weapon ever and put it into Kingdom Death so we can totally break the game. So, it's nice to see a lot of actual paper content to the model and a nice good sized model as well. I am eagerly looking forward to this, so I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to grab those clippers and we are going to build her and I'll be back in just a moment through the magic of video editing. So our white speaker sword hunter is just about finished when I say just about because obviously this crazy mess of straps and blades is just going to be too much of a hassle to try to attempt to paint after it's been glued on. I had a bit of a struggle trying to figure out how to do it, and I gotta say, I don't remember the resin version being as obnoxious trying to get put together. So basically, these swords all on top, everything kind of layers on top of this section. So you wanna start low and build high. Uh, I did have to look at the website a couple times just to figure out how everything went together. And curiously enough, I went and grabbed the original who honestly is probably one of the very first Kingdom Death models I ever painted. And I cheated and tried to glue her base with the sword there to give her something a bit more stable to attach to. I don't remember if she's actually supposed to stand like that or not, but mine is obviously. Yeah, I painted her a long time ago. And I gotta say, the resin cast of this was not that good. And yes, it is the original before anybody accuses me of you know going out and getting you know, a knockoff or something. I do have the original R card and everything for her, so neener, neener, neener. I think I have a first run one somewhere, because this is the new one. The new one is actually a bit more zoomed in, and she's got the blind ninja master eyes covered up there, because the keenest eye is obviously that, which looks inward. So you can see there's some significant growth going on there. 
comparing both the original and the new one. Let's see if I can line everything up correctly. So it's going to be kind of like that. It does look pretty cool with all her gear attached, but just there is definitely some size and scale creep going on here. Putting a squat little manta guy and our GW witch hunter friend here. You can get a good sense of scale as to just how big these more modern kingdom death models are. And I got to say, outside of her funky strap pack, it was a nice model to build. My only big complaint was this sword's contact point between her hand and the actual blade is really, really thin. And I thought I goofed it up a couple times and I obviously need to still do a little bit of cleanup there. I'm looking forward to painting her, looking forward to seeing how she'll fare compared to my original from way back when. I thought the eyes came out pretty decent on this one. And like I said, I did this a long time ago. That white is sad. But you know what? I tried. And that was the important thing. And if I could try, so should you. Don't ever be intimidated by these models. Just because you spend a bunch of money and they look really imposing, just do it. Do it and get it done like me. And then you have something to compare it to later on. So big thumbs up. Uh, it makes me hopeful that we'll see some more earlier resins get redone in plastic as well. I really do like the plastic models that they've been putting out. Just the pose, the dynamicism, the fluidity of the sculpt. Very cool. And it used to be only something we would see in resin or from the likes of GW. So the fact that we're getting this kind of stuff in plastic from Kingdom Death is quite cool. So... The other big plus with the plastic is they can produce tons of them. So if you are interested, if there's some weird off chance that she's not on the web store right now, she will be back. So hang in there and you don't have to hunt for years and days and months and forever like I did trying to track down this model. So that's a big plus right there. With that said, this is High Lord Tamerlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching and we'll see you back here soon hopefully. Bye bye.